Okay, so I'm going to go through how to make a basic bond inside Blender. So let's go and get started. So a bond is spherical in shape. So let's go and get rid of this cube. I'm going to right click the cube, press X, and then delete. So now I need a sphere. So to add a sphere, a primitive sphere, we're going to go Shift A. We're going to go to Mesh and then UV Sphere. Okay. And I'm going to change the poly count. So to do that, go to F6, and by default, it's 32 segments, 16 rings. I'm going to change mine to 24 segments, 12 rings. Okay. Now I want this sphere to be in the middle, like right here. So to do that, I'm going to go to the Transform Location tool right here, the XYZ coordinates. I'm going to change that to 0, 0, 0. Make sure you're in object mode to do that. You'll see this orange halo there in object mode. Okay, so now it's in the center, so let's go to front view. Let's go to edit mode with tab, then wireframe with Z. Okay, so I'm going to make the cap of the bomb. So select this top ring right here. I'm using the circle select tool. Oops. So make sure you only have this ring selected. Now if you're in solid mode, you'll have to go all the way around to select the ring. That's why I use wireframe. It's just much easier. So once you have that ring selected, I want you to duplicate it with Shift D, then press Z to keep it straight and move it up a little bit. Okay, so we're going to build the cap. So extrude this ring, and once again, keep it straight with Z. And then pull it up a little bit, then scale it out. Okay, you can kind of see what's going on. Okay, so if you wanted to, you can just easily cap it off with F to make a face. But I'm going to add a little detail to it. So <coughs> press E again to extrude, and then right click to keep the vertices there. Then we're going to scale down a little bit. Once we have that, I'm going to extrude again. I'm going to go straight down, so press Z, go straight down, go to front view, so you can see. Then we want to extrude again, right click to leave those vertices in the same spot. Then we want to scale down again, and we're going to build our fuse with this circle right here that we're making. So make it small enough for a fuse, that's fine. Go to the front view. Okay, so we still have that ring selected right there so we're going to extrude again and start building our fuse so as soon as you extrude press Z to keep it straight move it up a little bit now, I want my fuse to, to curve a little bit so I'm going to rotate and then grab it and move it a little bit and then I'm going to extrude again I'm just going to repeat that process rotate grab I'm just going to place it where I want give it that curve and zoom out you can kind of see it and once you have your fuse done, you just press F to cap it off. Okay. Now select this entire piece right here with L, or you can just use whatever tool you like to select the vertices. Then we're going to press G to grab and Z to move it straight back down. It's a little big. So I'm going to scale it down with S. It's not perfectly centered. If you go to top view with 7, you can kind of see that. So I'm going to move it till it's centered. That's, that's better. And yeah, that's a ball. So press tab. Go to object mode and you kind of see the shading. I like to use smooth shading as opposed to flat. Right now we're flat shading. So I'm going to press smooth. If you look at the cap, you can kind of see these weird face problems right here. So if we go to texture mode, that's a surface level problem. If we go to texture mode, we can kind of see the surface levels aren't pointing in the right way. So with something like this, we can just select the cap and then go to control M to fix the normals. If we go back to object mode, you can kind of see it's now looking correct. And that's how you make a model.